Hey guys, what's up? This is Spectreman and welcome to this new episode. So in the next few seconds, I will just trick your mind with these two short clips. Hey, just wait. First go to the settings and select the maximum resolution. That is 720p, 60 frames per second and then play it. And here we go. Okay, so I want you to just look to this clip for five seconds. Now just watch this clip. Now you will definitely feel some change. Okay, now we will switch to another clip. Now you will feel much change from the previous two clips. Okay, so what was actually happening behind this? So it was actually not tricking your mind, it was actually you had no idea about what was going on these clips were of different frame rate the first one was 15 frames per second the second one was 30 frames per second and the another one was 60 frames per second okay so why does it actually feel and look different when you watch two clips with different frame rates and here is the reason so the reason why it looks and feels different it depends on our brain and our Eyes. Our eyes captures the image continuously and it sends this image to the brain and the brain processes the image. So that processing actually takes some time. So now here is the question. How much time does it take to process an image by a human mind? Okay, so let me put it straightforward. Well, a brain processes 60 images per second on average best. Okay, now let's consider a scenario where a person is standing and there is something happening in front of him. So actually the scene reflects in finite rays to his eyes. Now it depends on his brain and his eyes that how much of rays does it capture. So as I said, a human brain captures 60 images per second and that is the brain capable of. So what we actually see is 60 images per second of what we are seeing. So the things that I just talked about, I didn't mention anything about camera and camera frames per second. So what role does the camera play in this? Let's make it clear. Okay, so it is pretty simple and straightforward. Just consider the camera of the your smartphone or just a regular camera as an eye. So what an eye does is it captures 60 images per second. Similarly a camera does. It captures the images with some frame rate actually. At the start of this video when I said I am tricking your mind. So that were actually the videos that were captured with different frame rates. So with the frame rate with which the video is captured it is actually presented to the viewer in actually that frame rate. So what a human brain does it can read up to 60 images per second so when you are watching a video that has a frame rate of 60 frames per second then your brain will be capturing all of the frames but when the video is 30 frames per second that is this one so now actually what happens is that your brain captures one frame of the video two times so that is the reason that the 30 frames per second video feels a bit laggy. Well, it doesn't feel laggy, but when you watch a 60 frames per second video, then you will feel the difference. Now, it actually doesn't mean that a 60 frames per second video is faster than a 30 frames per second video or a more lower frames per second video. Here, what actually the faster is, is the processor and your mobile or your camera. And in case of a human it is the brain that is faster well this can be cleared by this example just look at this clock now i am recording this video with 30 frames per second so you can see that the clock is moving and now in this video i am recording this clock with 60 frames per second now if it were faster then the 60 frames per second video will have the seconds moving two times faster than the 30 frames per second video but just get the side by side comparison of both the seconds stick and both the clocks are moving same okay now there is another point how do we make a slow motion video 
that looks very slow but it still looks fine and it doesn't look slaggy so how do we do that okay so for that just look at this video this is a 30 frames per second video and it is slow motion well if it is slow motion then some must be thinking that it was needed to be 1 frames per second or very lower well that's very stupid so then how a slow motion video is made and it is pretty simple you just need to capture more than 30 frames per second video general playback of the video is 30 frames per second so when we record a 60 frames per second video and you want to make a slow motion video from it what we do is we just slow down the frame rate of the video and so then we just see the 30 frames per second of the video which makes the motion of the video half and it then looks in slow motion so it means that a 60 frames per second video is converted to a slow motion video and its speed will be half of the original video. Now what if we record a video with let's say 120 frames per second and then slow down it to 30 frames per second. Then its speed will be 4 times slower than the regular video. Okay. Now keep on increasing the recording frame rates of the video and when you downscale it to 30 frames per second you will get slower motion videos. When you are watching this video this was recorded in to 40 frames per second and it was then slowed down to 30 frames per second so you were watching a 30 frames per second video but it was recorded in to 40 frames per second. Achieving higher frame rates is not easy you actually need a more high speed processor and so is the cost of the device with which you are recording the video on the other hand if you are recording a slow motion video with a general phone or a cheap camera so what actually it does is it records in 240 frames per second but it reduces the quality and it reduces the resolution of the video just as you have seen in this video it was slow motion but the quality was very bad okay guys so i hope you would have enjoyed this episode and you must have learned so much from it isn't it and there is so much to be explored so you guys must subscribe to my channel and stay focused be creative and thanks for watching support me on my patreon account and the links are in the description